Yeah, I found this cool game called Green Heck. It's, uh, it's pretty cool, but it's kind of racist. You know, it teaches you to fear the aboriginals in the Amazon. That's not very nice. So in this game, you kind of play as the villain. Uh, you're another white person that assumes that everybody wants to be their friend. And so you come over to the Amazon and you're like, hey, people that have been living a certain way for thousands of years, you want to be my friend? And they're like, no. <laughs> and they kill your fucking girlfriend. And so you're like, hey, you get all angry. And so you start crafting. You start crafting ways of killing them. And by God, you're going to do it. Because these people are going to pay for what they did to you. And before I start invading the homeland and killing off the natives, I might as well make a, uh, you know, a base of operations. It's gonna go right here. Yeah, small shelter. I need logs, long sticks, rope, palm leaves. I'm really deforesting this place. You know what, uh, this is all part of my plan to take these people out. See, what you gotta do is you gotta clear out their natural habitat. It just sucks that I'm being held back by my uh, technological limitations out here in the rainforest because I think the real proper way of doing this uh, is the old Vietnam way where you just do Agent Orange and Napalm and burn down the fucking vegetation. Can I sleep under here? I need long... Get out of here, you fucking, fucking jive turkey bird! And I keep getting fucking leeches. I need to get away from the... The fuck was that? My guy's dying in the jungle here. I, I ate a rattlesnake. That wasn't good enough. My guy needs some serious food. So unless there's like a Whataburger, maybe a Chick-fil-A hiding out in the jungle here, I might I might be just fucking dead. Ooh, a parrot. Harvest. Apparently it flew into the tree and died. I'm hungry. All right, don't worry, buddy. I'm going back right now. I can see our little house from here. And get you uh, a big old macaw sandwich. Cook up some of the endangered wildlife around here. Some of these little small ones. Some rope. Four pronged spear. There we go. All right. What does Sam feel like eating tonight? This right here. S fucking, fucking jab turkey. And I'm sure I got leeches. Fro Wait a second. Is that gonna make my fire die down? Frick. I don't know about this mushroom though. If I remember correctly, I've seen pictures of mushrooms that look like that and they said that they're really bad for you. But I'm gonna eat it anyways. Oh, great, food poisoning. That's what I need. Oh my god, delicious cooking. Well, I think I might be dead actually. Yeah, I just woke up and then died. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. Hello, sir? Sir, do you know the nearest, where the nearest... Okay, you hit me in the stomach with a rock. That's it? One stick! At first this was kind of like a manifest destiny kind of thing. Where I was like, these people need me to make their lives better. But now I kind of have a vendetta against these people. You know? I will drag them into the 21st century whether they fucking like it or not. Democracy is non-negotiable. Alright, this time I'm fucking serious. I'm not messing around with no stupid oasis, a beautiful waterfall, and, uh, you know, a leech-covered hell. Boom. Already got an axe. I'm here to fuck shit up. The natives will call me Baba Yaga. If there's anything I learned from my expedition through the Appalachian Trail, it's that whenever you make a camp, it has to be next to a water source. So I'm going to keep going until I hear some rushing water, and then I'll make a camp there. Rushing water. See, the last place was like a stagnant pond of garbage. I'm not looking for stagnant. I want, like, running water where it's safe to drink. Is this water safe to drink? It looks like diarrhea. Oh my god. Safe? Dirty. That's the opposite of safe. Ugh. Ow! Fuck! God damn it. Great, now I just got bit by a fucking snake. I'm probably gonna die. Stupid ass fucking game. Wow, everything was going so great until that happened. The fuck is that? What is that? I don't even know what that is. What, I get fucking ringworm? Ah, there's a bunch of them. 
I don't I don't know what that can I cut it off I don't know what that is I got a hatchet come here bitch you're pathetic uh oh yo this guy's fucking me up I blocked and it didn't okay you know what that's fine that's fine because I have a load thing right here. What kind of... I bet you, I just saved. I bet you this guy's still here. I bet you he's still here. Hold on. Ooh, got him right in the back. Oh, that kind of peeved him off. <laughs> nope, not really. Oh, you think you're hot shit? Oh, he's got a bow. He is hot shit. Come on. Come on. What, are you going to swim away from me? Ronald McDonald looking ass? <laughs> you didn't see a goddamn thing. You keep going. All right, my guy's slowly losing his mind. By the way, Shut what up. are you doing? Hey, this is my place, dude. I already claimed it. I think that guy might have been a figment of my imagination. Look, we'll just carve this guy. I think this is actually what lowers my insanity so much, is just carving up a dude on the fucking banks of this place. No, that actually didn't do that bad. I certainly need to get rid of these, uh, these the fucking worms, dude. I need some trifecta. All I'll do is I'll harvest this. And with the harvesting, I should get some bone. Ah, here we go. All right, check this out. Check this out. Hold on. Watch this. All right, see, I got this thing on my arm. No, not you fucking bone. There we go. I can dig out the worm with the with the thing. I got one on my other arm too, because I'm gross. See, I'm worm free. I, lo I love a, a good deworming. Yay, wound infection. That's what I'm talking about. Oh my god, my health is going down fast. <laughs> it's not that bad. Like, whose infection spreads this fast? Look at that way. I don't even. I would never have enough time to fix that. It gave me like 48 seconds. Okay, so last time I got like worms or something, like a fucking dog, and they drove me insane, and so I died pretty early. So the natives aren't even the problem in this, you know. And then I started thinking about it. Well, what's the name of the game? Oh, it's called Green Hell because of the jungle. And that's absolutely right. These people, they're, they're only dangerous because they're just as in insane as I am. You know, I'd be pretty hostile too if I had to live in this shithole. I'm going to hang out along the bank. I'm going to try to find that settlement I found before because that was uh, pretty nice. And look at that. In a matter of minutes, I find the stronghold I was looking for. Look, it's, it even has a piranha. Got everything I need right here. I got a, a water uh, thing. A water filter. I don't know how it works. I need to fuck. I need to figure that shit out. To be honest with you, I don't know how to work this water purifier because the wiki for this game is so incomplete that it just won't tell me. What I need to do is I need to get a coconut and you like and you whack it, bah, and it gets rid of the skin. And then you go to the crowd. Oh, check this out. And he's like, what? And he goes there. And then he goes, what? And then he goes there. And then he goes, uh, and he grabs that, what? Boom. Now, what can this do? I I'm not sure. I'm not sure what this does. Oh. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. I'm kind of scared of this water because I have a uh <laughs> I have a stupid fish catcher over here, right? It's on the shore. And it's not catching regular fish. It's catching piranhas. So I'm afraid to like hang out in the water because I'm afraid I'm just going to get eaten to death by a fucking piranha. Now what I can do is I can take this and put it right there. Fill it up. Oh, uh, there we go. Water clean. There we go. It catches the water as it goes down. See, this is why wikis are important. I had to sit here and just stab in every direction until I, until I finally hit pay dirt. Plus three hydration. Excellent. Then I just, uh, easy. Eat some of this piranha like it was nothing. 
I just gotta make sure to keep this fire going. I got all this shit in the world. I built myself a little hut so I can save my game. Fuck that, I'm not sleeping there. I sleep in this hammock instead because I'm a gentleman. And uh, I got a fire that is under enough shelter here that it doesn't go out when it rains. What? No, that fire went right... It lasted during the last thing. God damn it, Daniel. Hey, is that a little capybara? <laughs> Fucking hit it right in the back of the head. See, at first when I played this game, I thought it was all about, you know, enslaving the natives. I was very excited to play a game where I could do that. And then, uh, and then I really got in here and I realized that, uh, more than anything, you're just battling your own sanity. Uh, so I'm sure, you know, eating the world's largest rodent probably isn't good for that. But I'm gonna do it anyways. I, dude, I hear footsteps. There's someone around here. Fuck! It went out right when I got here. If I didn't stop to look around like a little skittish asshole, I would have had plenty of fire. Alright, check this out, guys. I have a swimming piranha in my backpack. <laughs> wow, this water's a whole lot less inhabited than, like, the clean water. I, I used to live by a s Remember that spring I was at? That shit had water everywhere. What is this, runoff from a septic tank? Where the fuck are the fish? Been sitting up here like an asshole for ten minutes. That's not a fish, but that's edible, baby. Bingo. Why, why am I freaking out about this stupid fish? I got plenty of rat, giant, ugly, stupid rat meat to eat. I don't need the, I don't need fucking fish meat. And get this, the complexity of this game, I have to go back to my leg show you my my thing and then wrap the the bandage on it what a motherfucker right any other game you would just right click and go use because <laughs> you assume your guy isn't going to be like hey i have an injury on my leg let's bandage up my face <laughs> but in this game you know you never know you never know in this game all right your guy's wild man he he'll, he'll bandage whatever the fuck he wants I finally have like a decent setup going on where I'm not just, you know, sitting here doing nothing. I'm actually surviving. And lo and behold, this guy sees it. You see him over there just sitting up on the other edge, acting like he can he just owns the place. What a beautiful song. But I have a problem. You're in my fucking area. Oof, that's a tight looking ass. Check this out, got some food cooking, baby. It kind of looks like human, but don't worry about it, it's not. It's uh, something else entirely. Ooh, ooh, okay, eating people really takes a shit on the sanity. I should probably not do that. All right, remaining human steakums going in the garbage. Not exactly good to eat. No. No, 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 no. I don't remember the last time I saved. I don't remember, I don't remember the last time I saved. No, 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 no. <laughs> ah! <laughs> you been fucking. Not in a million years, uh-uh. No, 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 you pick this fight, Buster Brownskin. You get. <laughs> Fuck you! Uh, okay, minor. Holy. Jesus, looks like he tried to rape me and claw my legs open. Hey, look at this, look at this. I can do like a little dance. Do, 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 do. Bandage that. You know, bandage this one as well. And then hope I don't die. That is a big fucking house! Man, oh man, look at this place! Now we're talking, dude! I could take this place over! Looks like I'm living in a fucking crack house now. You know what's sad when you're playing a game? When living in a crack house is nicer than anything else you can find. 
Hold on, let, let me check to see if there's like a Taj Mahut anywhere around here on the map. Oh, look at this. There's like a little bed back here. Say, is that the sound a fucking scorpion makes? In what world is that what a scorpion makes? It sounds like he's writing with a quill. You're in the rainforest. It's an angry place. You get one cut, then all of a sudden leeches are crawling into it, or worms or something. You end up getting tapeworms like I'm out here eating diarrhea in a ditch somewhere. Everything's infected, you get trench foot. Your guy keels over and has an aneurysm in his sleep. There's snakes that bite you. The whole thing is just this giant clusterfuck of bad events that happen over and over again. The the one thing you don't have to worry about is more than anything else is actually crazy Amazonian natives throwing spears into your face. I've only seen one or two of them, and they've been relatively nice. They just kind of look at you, and then they're like, "Hey, that's a white man." And then when you get close, they they might like throw something at you, but they're not actively hunting you down. They don't seem like they're that bad of people. In fact. The only hyper-aggressive ones I've found are when your character's sanity meter is really low, and they're figments of his imagination. If anything, your character has a subconscious bias to the indigenous population. I've concluded that when you're playing Green Hell, you're the antagonist. You're the aggressor. And let's face it, you need to get the hell out of there and leave these people alone. We are communists. Surrender your weapon to us. It is ours now. All hail Karl Marx! Why am I- where'd my weapon go? What?! Since when- Oh wait, they're communists? Never mind. Let's napalm these fuckers. Death is a preferable alternative to communism.